escapees. Good to see you. Uh, let's see if the stream is working. It says it is, but never know. All right, what's up, escapees? Welcome to the channel. My name is Still Escape. Good to see you. Uh, let's go ahead and fix the headset. Yeah. I do like the angle of the camera today. I don't think I'll change it. Uh, nothing's, nothing's weird, is there? <laughs> Yesterday I had my pajamas in the background. I was like, oh, we gotta get rid of those. Um, okay, let me go ahead and upgrade, or not upgrade, but test the headset out. Go ahead and upgrade. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Just making sure everything's synced up. Cool, everything is synced up. Very nicely, I might add. Well, I hope you're having a good day, escapees. Happy hump day, everybody. Oh, I'm just getting some stuff set up over here. Let me find my little mouse. Nice. Oh yeah, let's see. Okay, so if I'm playing the game, I'm gonna look like this. Doot, 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 doot. That doesn't cut off too much head. Good, good, good. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, whoa, camera goes like, cuts off half my, my eyeballs. Um, okay, if I celebrate, you're gross. Uh, if I'm reading chat, it'll be over there. That's what it looks like. You guys are down there on the chat tablet. Nice. Okay. Cool. Let's just make sure. <laughs> let's make sure the chat tablet's actually working and not broken. That would suck. Okay. And then I do have a couple of going live posts. Just straight up going live for a short Fallout. I spelled Fallout wrong. Wow. Uh, Fallout 76 stream. Alright, we post that out to Facebook first, ironically. Um, and then, I know usually I go Twitter first, and now Twitter will be getting the secondary post. Discord, it just takes way too long to open up on my laptop. I know I have an i7, but it's one of those really old ones from 2016 uh, or so. <laughs> it was really high tech at the time, and now it's just slow as a turtle. Just honest. The i7s of yonder year are not like the i7s of today. At least that's what I've read in uh, other people's channels. And I believe it because my i7 is very old <clears throat> and very, very slow. Okay, um, I do have a picture to post, so I'm going to go ahead and post that to the fleets, all that good stuff. Uh, Facebook fleet can have one too, sure. Facebook story, I guess. Last but not least, the Instagram story must be updated with that photo, which is not filtered at all. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> it's totally filtered. Okay. Come on, you guys. It's 2021. What's not filtered these days? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Get a couple hashtags in here. I hope you guys are having a good hump day today. Uh, I just, before I jumped on stream, I was helping mom get some groceries out of the car and stuff. Now she's making some tacos. They smell really good. I'm like, oh, I didn't think I was hungry before stream. I'm hungry now. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, what other hashtag? Oh, gamer. Hashtag gamer is always popular. Hashtag video games. Hashtag games in general. Good one. Not the in general part, but you know, games. All right, I'll just fit that in a little square. Let's put the going live right next to my cleavage. <laughs> Joking. I, you can't even see my cleavage escape these. Come on now. Even in that picture, it's like a little shadow. The tiniest of shadows. And we'll still get bothered by it. So, how dare you try to start showing your cleavage? <laughs> I'm sure we'll get at least one angry message. All right, let's see here. Or we might have somebody hit up on us like what happened last stream. Oh my goodness. All right, um, <laughs> I had to time somebody out for saying something super lewd uh, yesterday. Okay, well anyways, good to see you, escapees. Let's get the stream started in. Five, four, three, two, 
one. Welcome to the Soul Stream. My name is Soul Escape. You can call me Soul, or if you want, you can call me G. G is just short for my real name, which is Gina. I just don't go by Gina on the stream or anywhere on social media. I do go by G, though, if you want to call me that. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to go into a private world just to test the waters out. Test out the waters. I'll go ahead and switch back to... There we go. Yo, what's up, a stage? Welcome to the stream. You are the first in the channel. Welcome. Hashtag chill vibes. Yay. I hope it's chill vibe session today. <laughs> I would love it to be chill vibes. Oh, okay. So I'm going to be honest, you guys. And oh, I see myself in the area chat down there. Let me. Good thing this is the private world. Man, okay. I'm going to be honest. I start the stream out like super excited, super happy, and like later on during the streams, it's just, I've been noticing it for a while, it's like people ruin it. They start just being super like not chill, they start being like negative and stuff, and then I start getting into that mindset, I'm like, oh, I don't want to talk to these people anymore. <laughs> That's exactly what happened yesterday, you guys. I was having a great time, and then we had a whole bunch of Debbie Downers come into the chat, or just people being like kind of annoying. Uh, saying like, you know, awkward sexual comments, other people, you know, just being, I don't know, we're saying some rude stuff. And so, you know, it brought me down a little bit. I was just like, oh, you know, do I really have to? And so eventually I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna leave. <laughs> but no, I always start the stream like all excited and stuff. And then I gotta not let people um, get to me, I guess. But it's hard to ignore, you know, when they're the only person in chat. <laughs> And then they'll, you know, you just start talking to that one person being super negative. You're like, oh god, can't do this. Yo, what's up, Orange Crush? How are you doing? Hi, William, how are you? Happy Wednesday. Hope you guys are doing well. That's okay, but yeah, yesterday I kind of got a little bummed out at the end of stream, and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna leave. <laughs> I did go for a walk slash jog, so yay, I did something positive, you know. I didn't, like, leave and sulk or anything like that. I went into my dark corner and I cried for hours. No. No, I really went out for a walk jog. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. It was hot, though. It was hot out there. Oh, it's okay, William. It's good to see you. Thank you for jumping in. Thank you for hanging out. Hope you've been well. Hope everything's been going good. I've been having some uh, weird medical things going on, but yesterday I was able to go to the doctor, yay! And so I did stream and I told stream about that too. Alright, let's see here. I'm looking for some decent uniforms. Decent asylum uniforms here. Did I see anything good? No, just the same old, same old. <laughs> just the usual. I went on that uh, pathway that I on. Alright, let me see if I missed anything. I think I might have missed. Oh, you've been sick. I'm sorry to hear that stage. <laughs> Orange crush says, cleavage wear. Oh, I'm just joking. I am wearing tank tops now. Dude, it's freaking 90 degrees plus here in Washington State. Or well, at least in the southern eastern part, the desert part where I live. Um, so yeah, I've been wearing tank tops and different types of clothes. <laughs> you guys might not. You're like, oh my god, I see soul shoulders. Oh! I've not seen full shoulders. Um, which I don't bust these shirts out unless it's really hot. Alright, let's get out of here. So that was Fort Defense. Didn't find anything there. I'm going to go into an actual populated world, public world, and we'll see if we can find anything. If not, we'll just, you know, keep going. Yeah, going through some heat waves and stuff up here in the Pacific Northwest. All the way over to Portland, Oregon, and even farther. What's up, Original? How are you doing? Original Angst, welcome to the stream. Thanks for coming in, you guys. I hope everyone's well. I'm just going to be playing a little Fallout 76 real quick. Um, I will be here for longer than an hour. The last couple of streams have been pretty short. Yesterday I had an appointment, so I was only around for oh, about an hour and a half. Alright, there we go. And then same thing for that second stream afterwards. It was already a little late, so I'm like, oh, I'll just stay on for about an hour. <laughs> Did you hear that drama out there? There's some uh, nonsense going on outside of Fort Defiance. I just ignored it, completely ignored it and ran through. <laughs> That's hilarious. 
We're just like oblivious. Oh, there's like bullets flying around. We're just like skipping through here. I'm just looking for uniforms, everyone. I got a dirty one there. Nobody wants that. I've seen people try to sell uh, dirty and weathered these type of uniforms for 200 caps. Don't buy them, you guys. You can find them here easily. What you really want is the uh, colored ones. Or just a white clean one, too, is uh, pretty good. Okay, how many nukes have been dropped here? According to... What is this thing called? The World Activity. Sorry, I have a little uh, bar on my screen that blocks it. Um, according to the World Activity, there's only been one nuke dropped. So that's not bad, you know, as long as it's not too... Oh, somebody's going for a second one. Okay, we'll stay in this world for a bit. We'll stay here. Ooh. All right, hopefully they allow me to... Oh, gosh, team's already full. I was like, oh, hopefully they let me join. I could get in on this events team. I prefer casual because you get, you know, a little bit bonus experience everywhere. But um, that's fine. Events are good too. Once they drop the nuke, it'll turn into an event. As long as they drop it, you know, within this area. Or right here, I should say. Whose house is this? I kind of want to go visit this house. Or this camp that's, you know, in the middle of the, uh, the nuke zone. And they better leave because, uh, or yeah, that's right. Now that we have two camps, you can turn one on and off. So it's on the map or not on the map. So he better turn his camp off <laughs> before they drop that other nuke. All right, cool. I'm just going to check our teammates camps to see if they're selling anything good. I think somebody left the team. Damn it. As soon as I joined, they peaced out. Well, maybe their game crashed. <laughs> it wasn't their game, Soul. They were avoiding you. No! Why? Alright, I think we're good. Let's peace out back to my camp. I gotta go turn some uh, fog and stuff on over there. The radio. Ooh, love tacos. That sounds good. That sounds delicious. <laughs> Don't go in the nuke zone. True. Well, I mean, I was going to fast travel to my uh, tent over here and then put some power on, power armor on and then walk in there. So I'd still get fried, but at least a little bit less fried. Attention, citizens. Ooh, nice. Oh, gaming imminent. chair. Hey, GG on that. Orange Please crush. Exit the that area at your earliest convenience. Thank Got you it for 40? 40, 40 bucks? That's pretty good. I would like a chair for 40 bucks. Hey, you still beat me a stage. I have a bed. <laughs> I have a bed that has a nice hole because I've been streaming here for the last uh, six years in the same spot. So it's like, has a nice little dent where I always sit. <laughs> oh. You cannot survive a nuke blast in power armor. No, sadly. Um, it'll just, it continues. It blows you up. Oh, thank you. You're too kind. Dude said I had a nice camp. Thank you. All right, well. Ugh. There. Oh, sorry if you want to shower, yeah. They haven't even seen the fog yet. Sometimes the fog kills it, though, makes it a less, uh, less cool camp. All right. Hopefully nobody's killed my poor little Brahmin. Oh, no, he's here. Thank goodness. All right, so I'm just here at the campsite. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my stuff that I usually grab. This scavenger box is not locked. Um, so, you know, if anybody wanted to come in and grab some extra materials from there, they totally could. Sometimes they do, I'm like, oh, it's all right. Sometimes I come back, it's like filled with uh, a whole bunch of stuff. I'm like, okay. All right, so there is a nuke fallen right now. I think the person Yes, they chose to drop it in the original site, which is really good. Um, I say we go. Let's just head over there. Pretty much ready. I, I do see that my... I see that I'm a little bit... I might be dancing with over encumbrance again this stream. <laughs> so, okay, let's just not beat around the bush. I'm going to be over encumbered this stream. 
I can tell already. I can tell already, you guys. <laughs> this is your hair? <laughs> no, this is my lair? Yes, it is. True. Yes, my whole bed is my hair. I've cultivated it for many years. Alright, I do have the right plasma. Do I have the cards for it? Yes, I do. I have the heavy gunner cards. I got all those that I need. Alright, we're good to go. <laughs> it looks pretty neat. Oh, thank you, William. If you're talking to me, that is. Oh, that's cool. That's still awesome. What's up, Rick? How are you doing? See you up there, Rick. I also see this Scorched Beast. Alright, let's just knock her out of the air, shall we? Here's my, uh... I do have a Gatling laser as well. Which will set her on fire. Yay! That's my favorite part, is setting these uh, creatures on fire. <laughs> Because <laughs> it's funny here. They look so funny when they're running. You get out of here, damn it. Rat wanted a taste too. So you get mole rat. Oh, he's not on fire anymore. Hey, where'd the nuke go? Did the nuke not drop here? Wait, I am much confused. I will check the map again in a second. We might be going to Earl Williams instead. Alright, yeah, I am much confused. Did, uh, did the nuke drop? Oh, it did drop up there. What are we doing here? Now I feel foolish. We're in the wrong spot, escapees. No, I jumped the gun. Oh, crap. Okay. Oh. Alright, I nearly got fried in the rads. You were right. Okay, let's, let's wander away. Hurry! What was I doing up here? Oh man, please put me in the instance with those five players. Please put me in the instance with those five players. There is a time where I jumped to the Earl Williams event and I got instanced by myself. And I was like, no! Of course I didn't try to do it my own. That would have been all my ammunition. All 30 minutes that you get, I would have been there struggling. <laughs> Luckily, there's at least two other people, so I think we can take them. We can take them. I've took them in a team of two before Earl Williams and all the Wendigos, and it almost did take the whole 30 minutes. But me and that other dude, we were uh, we were in our level 300s already, so... Alright, so this is like the only time <clears throat> that I do use my power armor. Just because I don't want my regular armor uh, to get all busted up. Now, I don't have a legendary power armor yet, sadly. I have my regular one that I've always been using. I think this is only day three for me on the new scoreboard or the new season. <laughs> yeah, later, William! Hi, Lobby Freak, how are you doing? Welcome in. Bye, William, we'll see you next time. Have a good rest of your night. Indeed. <laughs> yeah, every time the color changes, we just cut it off. <laughs> I laugh my ass off, OnlyFans. It's true, William. A stream. I only have about 14 subscribers, you guys, on Twitch. So OnlyFans has been a lifesaver. Shout out to any OnlyFans we have in here. Like half the people in chat are like... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey, that's okay. If you don't like OnlyFans, that is completely um, understandable. That is understandable. Um, oh, this is the aid. Sorry, I was thinking I was in food right now. Thank you, new follower. Woo! We got a new follower, Scapies. Welcome to the Soul Stream. Thank you. New follower, hi. Woo! I'm doing good too. Thank you for asking, Zombie. Just playing a little Fallout 76. Cool, cool. Alright, we're about to go into the Earl Williams event. Uh, if you're like, what's that? The Earl Williams event is. Or at least, I'm not sure if they've added another one with this new update, but it was Earl Williams event is the new quote-unquote endgame boss. So we're going to be doing some endgame type stuff here. Honestly, it's just a huge uh, Colossus Wendigo. Wendigo Colossus, I believe. Uh, Wendigo that has three heads on it, extra giant, stomps around. Basically, he's just a huge bullet sponge. 
huge bullet sponge. Oh, thank you! Hey, thanks the stage. What is up, dude? Thank you for the new sub. Hey, new sub hype escapees. Exclamation NSH in the channel. Aw, thank you, dude. Yeah, the reason I don't have that many subscribers, it's my own fault. I haven't streamed, you know, in like a month or so. Uh, this is actually also, not only is it my third day um, with the new scoreboard and stuff, it's also my third day back to streaming kind of more regularly and all that. Yeah, I've been going through some, uh, just some things that I don't really want to talk about, medical issues. I did see the doctor yesterday, which is hopefully, you know, we'll be getting some an answers, some information soon. Nice. <laughs> oh, thank you, Stage, dude. You're amazing. You don't have to do that. I feel bad. <laughs> I feel bad that I complained and then you went and gift subbed and stuff. Thank you so much, dude. Woo! And congratulations. Woo! Nice. Zombie playing some Fallout 4. Excellent. What's up, uh, Lord Mason? I see you up there. I got some Earl Williams stuff to do. I will be back. Um, let me see here. I need to drink my liquid courage though before I get up there. And a canned meat stew. There we are. That's the good stuff. Alright, there we go. Thank you so much, Stage. I appreciate that a lot. Five subs, woo! So here is Earl Williams. He's this large creature. I'll get kind of close to him if you guys want to see him. This is him right here. Flashing with the light. Yep, that's Earl Williams right there. Oh shoot! Oh sorry, I shot myself. Well, the explosions killed me from the ricocheted bullets, sadly. Alright, let's see here. Thank you, Stage. Much love, dude. I appreciate that. Alright, let's get back in there. But yeah, that's Earl Williams, you guys. I'm gonna do a little uh, Wendigo hunting real quick. Hunt these creatures that are at the bottom. I am using an explosive Gatling class. This is the boss event, so yeah, I'm like, let's get our legacies out. <laughs> get those legacies out. That other uh, Gatling laser that I have, that's not a legacy. That's just a flaming laser. It's just a flaming laser. Alright, so I'm getting some experience for these guys down here. I think it was at least... I'm gonna shake one out. Ooh. Trying to shoot a little... Okay, so at least 330. Wow, that's actually a lot. 330 experience for each one to go kill. That's why it's good to go when you go hunting down here. Alright, I'll shoot Earl Williams for a bit. Oh! Don't oh, shoot that guy. There's a few over here. It's so dark though, you can hardly see. Oh gosh. I got slapped by something. Oh man, they're all right behind me. Oh goodness. Alright, we got a couple there. Oh! Alright, I'm gonna heal up. Let me get this guy over here. And then turn around and try to get these two. Nice. Oh gosh, they're not dead! Dude, how could they have survived all that explosion? <laughs> and I didn't survive that. Alright, we're still fighting with these two back here. Okay, cool. Looks like they're dead, so we'll continue on. I see another Wendigo on the floor. Get him, and this one right there. shoot at Earl Williams himself for a little bit. Gotta reload. I just got slapped while I was reloading. Alright. Oh gosh, oh gosh. I'm being chased a little bit. I am over encumbered when I get into my power armor so that's why I can't run. That's why you see me walking around this whole stage. I know. Terrible. But hopefully with the new legendary prefixes on power armors, that'll change. Alright, so shooting at Earl Williams bit now. The reason he's not scaring me is because I did drink that liquid courage a couple minutes ago. 
All right, we're getting 12s at least. That's oh god, oh god, oh! I wasn't watching my experience or my hit points. My bad. That wasn't due to any explosions. That was due to the falling rocks, falling lava. All right, we're doing some good damage though. Not bad. <laughs> Mass chaos. True, it gets loud too, guys. But I can't complain because I'm one of the people using the loud weapons too. Alright, let's see here. So we got a couple Wendigos. Dude, this flashlight's doing like no work at all. Alright, that guy's dead. I <laughs> just shot at some dead bodies. This one's not, so here's a couple more Wendigos right there. Good, good, good. Alright, back to Earl Williams. Oh, I think I'm, I'm standing underneath one of those these things right here. That's what causes that damage. My bad. Watch where you're standing, soul. I will. Alright, gotta reload just a bit. Look around. Go! Who threw that crap at me? Was that Earl? Somebody threw a big old turd. I think it was Earl. In fact, I'm sure it was him. Alright, he's that shadow in the distance that we're shooting at right now. Oh, oh, he moved a little bit. Oh, I'm getting closer. Oh, there's Wendigos about. Okay. Let me get these smaller Wendigos real quick. Oh, God. They're everywhere. Someone's dying over there. I would help, but I'm too slow. I know I can't run because I'm over encumbered, sadly. Well, we got a went to go. Oh no, there's a couple. Oh, oh. Looks like my liquid courage ran out. Now I'm gonna be scared by Earl's screams as well. Don't scream at me, Earl. It hurts my ears. All right, those three are dead. Oh, oh, one's still alive. All right. Oh, we got a couple Wendigos. We got a couple more following. Oh no. Alright, he's dead. No! Oh! Terrified. <laughs> he pooped, he pooped and he threw it at us. Just like the uh, gorilla in Sekiro. I remember. I remember the poop flinger. Alright, here we go. Oh darn, I was like ready to unleash on Earl and I have to reload. Alright, I think I am standing in one of those areas. Okay, now we can unload on him! Woo! There, he's deceased! The beast is dead! There's a couple more little beasts. Alright, grab everything from Earl, and then we continue hunting these small Wendigos. Woo! Trying to kill yourself, soul. I don't think I see anymore. And I've tested it out many times on this event. Um, it does say to escape the mine, and I used to be one of those people like, oh sure, it's gonna blow. Uh, but you can actually stay until the very end of this event. With another event, you are not able to do that because I tested it out. It was the, uh, that one where you go into the mine to collect those ores and protect those protectrons while they're working. That one, you really do have to escape, otherwise uh, you'll croak inside of the mine. Which is no bueno. No es bueno morir inside el mine. It's not good to die inside the mine, escape you, you lose all your junk that you're carrying. So what I'm doing right now is I'm picking up uh, the items left behind by those smaller wendigos that we were killing. You get a lot of screws, a lot of fiberglass. You can break their teeth down for bone material if you need bone material for anything. <laughs> oh, bow chicka wow wow. Alright, here. But you just get as much as you can before the mine does collapse, and then it'll just fast travel you out, thankfully. Ooh, thank you! Hey, you got a new follower, much appreciated. Thank you for that. Welcome to the stream, exclamation new follower. Excuse me, exclamation NF in the chat. Give that person a little hype. All right, 
Oh, oh, here we go. The darkness, it surrounds me. Help! Saw some guy in a ghillie suit at the end. That's a nightmare. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you for the follow. You are awesome. Oh. Alright, let me see if I missed anything in chat. If I did, I apologize, you guys. Thank you, Stage, for those gifted subs. Ten gifted subs. That is crazy. Oh, I got an anti-armor fat man. Nice. Wait a minute. What are we shooting at? All I hear is some rapid gunfire. Rapid gunfire going down. So, whatever happened over here? Nothing? Nothing? That dude's camp is still there too. That's okay. <laughs> That's alright. Yeah, I had fast traveled down yonder into uh, this noob zone thinking, oh yeah, you know, they're gonna drop the bomb here. No, they, they dropped it up here at Earl Williams, which I was ecstatic for. I love Earl Williams event. I get a ton of experience. I know a lot of the other players get a ton of experience. But um, I guess the reason people don't like doing Earl Williams event too much is that you do get better rewards for completing the Scorched Earth, the Scorched Beast event. Ooh, Uranium Fever's on. Cool. Alright, let me get out of the... Let me get out of the fallout here. Nuclear fallout. Okay. Pop out of my... Pop out of my power armor. Hello! <laughs> What's that person they put? No! They hate me. That's okay. Alright, um... <laughs> they're like, Pfft. Well, maybe they thought my power armor was ugly. That's fine. I like it. I've had people laugh at my power armor. It true, escapees. It true. They do the, the laugh emote. I just do it back. Like, uh... Or I'll do the thumbs up, like, uh... Yes, alright, good. Ate that deathclaw steak. Gave us a little boost. Um, let me head over to Sunny Top Station. We'll see what we can do with some of these legendary weapons. Oh, it scared me when you died. Oops. I know, dude with the ghillie suit pops out. He's like, oh. The nightmare. It's scary. <laughs> Well, thank you for being here, Stage. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Here, take some soul gems. Woo! Cool. Oh, we lost some teammates down on the bottom left. That strong dude, too, he pieced out. I think there was someone who was a higher level. Oh, is that an Ash Rose? It is. I don't usually find those up here. Interesting. Alright, so I lost a little connection to the chat tablet, my apologies. Okay, there we go. Got it back. Okay, let's see what we got. So I think this is the new fat man that we got, which is actually kind of cool. I might keep that. And the only reason I'm keeping that is because of the 90% reduced weight. It only weighs one pound at the moment. That one's mine. The Aristocrat Black Powder Pistol. Someone might want this. I might sell it for like a couple hundred caps. Assassin combat knife. Someone might want this too. I mean, I particularly don't, but there's people that are, you know, they specialize in certain weapons and collecting certain weapons. They might like that. Hmm, not sure. I think I was thinking the same thing with this too. Man, I have so many weapons that I just... This one's mine, I, I use that actually. The Juggernaut's Cryolator, ooh. As a Juggernaut character, you know, a character that's always striving to be at full health, I do kind of like that new legendary effect. But I don't think... It's just one star, so I don't think it'll really sell too well. This I bought the other day, I don't... Don't ask me why. <laughs> I thought the Mutant's effect was new, but it... Turns out they had just changed the mutants effect, so I'm like, oh, I goofed there. The regular pickaxe. This pickaxe is actually the cursed pickaxe. We got this yesterday uh, while also doing an Earl Williams event. 
And I was like, why is it just called pickaxe now? They dropped the word cursed from the uh, name. I don't know why. Let's see this. Someone might want this. I'll sell it for cheap. Okay. As for armor, let's see what we have here. I think I might need to get like a power armor chassis and just save a few power armors that I like. I'm gonna keep that. Yeah, it's not bad. Well, the damage while blocking, I don't really block too much. <laughs> so I don't need that effect. This isn't, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really, I don't think I would see selling this power armor torso, so let's get rid of it. How about this one? Maybe, and the only thing I really like about it is the 10 damage resistance if you're mutated, because my character's mutated for sure. This I'll get rid of. Ooh, I like the junk item resistance, or reduced weight on this. But other than that, it's kind of crappy. Ooh, I don't know. It's kind of cool. So yeah, I might want to keep that. That's why I need that power armor chassis. That, I think I'm keeping this for my other character. I do have a bloody build character, and so she uses a lot of unyielding and bolstering items. What is this? This is behind my bar. Oh, okay. Vanguards, I'll keep it. I'm pretty sure I'm wearing that. Or that's one that I use, right? Am I wearing that? Yeah, I am. Okay. So I have a Twitch bar on my TV screen, and it blocks out the center left area just a little bit. Sometimes I have to look at my own stream and be like, what's that? Oh, okay. All right. And this I might be able to sell, so... Oh man, okay. I gotta... Let's see if we can drop any ammunition here. Drop some ammunition. Somebody got kicked off the team, oh god. I've been kicked off of a team before in Fallout here. It's, uh, well, you know, it's, it is a little, I guess, quote-unquote sad, because you don't know why. You're like, why did I get kicked off? But I would say don't take it to heart if you do get kicked off a public team because sometimes they're just trying to make room for uh, like their own friends. I've seen other people kick off others in a team that I'm a part of and then somebody else will join and they won't kick that person out. Um, okay, I think we're good here. Drop the railway spikes. No, I could have sold those. I'll drop these almost empty plasma cores. Good. Alright, and then I probably have some junk to scrap. Let's see. I knew we were going to play the over encumbrance inventory game today. I just felt it. I was like, oh gosh. We're already teeter tottering on that um, 480 or whatever it was. Carry limit. Um, okay. Oh, it's because I have two of these vocal sacks. I need to make these into actual beverages. But you know what? That's good. Let me drop these in my stash. I do have a little space over here. Uh, junk, right? And it would be the sack. Whew, okay, now we can fast travel around. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Oh, uranium fever! I totally forgot about that. Well, let's uh, quickly we can go and join really, really, really quick. It might almost be over, but you know what? That's okay. Might get another legendary item. Dang, zombie, that's pretty cool. When I was level um, 20 with my new character, I would only get like level 35 weapons. Maybe that's new. Yeah, you didn't start getting... Um, level 30 and 35 weapons or excuse me you didn't start getting level 50 weapons until you were at least level 40 45 they might have changed it who knows okay so i'm trying to let me get a decent weapon out here i'm not going to use my legacy for this but i will use my quad explosive well, just so that i make sure i get some uh, shots on the legendary remove this individual from the premises Oh, he's over there. Wait for me, please. Adequate 
Oh, I don't think I got any shots. Well, thank you for letting us know, though. Oh, I did get a shot on him. Yay! Okay, it's only a one-star weapon, so... Not a big deal. <laughs> they killed him fast, though. See, that's why a lot of people complain about uh, others using legacy weapons. Because they just annihilate the enemy so quickly. You don't get any experience. You don't get the... Uh, legendary weapon if you didn't shoot him enough times. All that stuff. That's why I'm not using my legacy. I'm using just a regular explosive. See, it takes a while for me to kill that enemy. That allows other people to get some shots in. They can get some experience. We're all good to go. We'll all repair that. Oh, sorry, sir. <laughs> I thought that guy was an enemy. I shot him. And then I shot a little bit after him so he didn't. He wouldn't think that I was shooting at him. Shh. <laughs> oh. Well, he scared me. He came around the corner all crazy. Didn't have a flashlight on or anything. If he did have a flashlight on, shh. Kindfully ignore it. No. <laughs> Respectfully ignore it, please. No. Yo, what's up, Kukui? How are you doing? Thank you for the sub, Kukui. I appreciate it. Uh, I've been all right. I've been having some medical things going on. We've been through a heat wave up here, Pacific Northwest. Uh, but other than that, things have been going good. I finally got to the doctor. Yay! I took a couple weeks, but Output I was able to get in for an appointment. Finally. I guess there's been a lot of sick people around here. Um. Oh. Oh, somebody behind Detecting me. Detecting terminated management personnel. Remove this individual from the premises. Cool. Oh shiz! <gasps> it was him! It was that dude that killed him! That scum! He's all like, oh come here! And then he doesn't let anybody get there. I totally saw it. it was the other guy that was motioning. He just let him blast. Wow. Imagine being the person that motions to come here and also the person that um, kills the enemy in two shots. It was Gilly Suit Guy. I'm narking him out. It's Gilly Suit Guy. <laughs> that, talk about being chaotic good, right? Chaotic good. Oh, nice. Olympic Peninsula. How's it been over there? Hopefully things been okay. Extracted and processed. Output quantity increased. <laughs> Respectfully. Respectfully ignore that, please, if he had his light on. <laughs> please don't tell the authorities he had his full he had his brightest lights on and I just wasn't able to complete. <laughs> Extractors must complete cleaning and ventilation process before continuing operation. Is that guy's name Jack the Ripper? It was Jack the Ripper. Tag is not a graph. There we go. All right. So at the end of this event, I do like to pick up. Oh, sorry, sir. Um, I like to pick up all the extra junk. I know I'm already over encumbered. Still gonna pick up more. True. But we break it down for materials and stuff that we can use. Who is shooting? One shooting. I think they changed up the song in this uh, area as well. I've noticed with the new updates, there's some new musical tracks. Especially in mines and kind of cave-like areas. Not bad. All right, sorry if I missed anything in chat, you guys. Oh, we've been up against the high-level enemies. Nice. Is it worth it to trade in the legendaries? Well. When you do trade in your legendaries this stage, what you get is you get these little points known as scripts. And then when you collect a certain amount of scripts, I believe it's at least 100. Uh, when you get 100 scripts, you can trade that in for a completely new, different legendary. It has random effects and stuff, so it might be a crappy one, but you might get woo, something really, really good. So sometimes, depending on the legendary, if it's not the best, it is better just to turn it into scripts. Especially if it's something you don't want or your character doesn't need. 
or if it's just it has three stars that you're like, ugh, I don't like any of those stars, definitely turn it into script, because then you can use that script later on to get some new weapons. And if you don't like it, you can turn those weapons back into script, and then that cycle continues. If you do get some good weapons, then you can you know, either use them or sell them for big caps. There's a lot of weapons that go for very, very big caps. Not only that, but they also... Um, oh, I'm the only person on the team now. I'm gonna try to join this one. Yay! Joined a new team. Well, because everyone else left the other team. I was the only one there. I didn't want to be the only team member. <laughs> the point of having the team is... Uh, or the reason I want to be on the team in particular is for this perk card here. Inspirational. When you're on a team, whether it's public or you're with your friends, um, you gain, if you have it maxed out like I do, you'll gain 15% more experience for anything, whether it's cooking, uh, crafting, whether it's killing enemies. All of those things, all of those actions will garner you a little bit extra experience, which is really nice. Yay! <laughs> Welcome back to Twitchlandia! Um, let me, I'm just catching up with stream two really quick. Nice, zombie GG on the different colors of Asylum uniforms. It could be the game acting up. What's up, Justin Blue? How are you? Missed you up there. Yeah, true, Kukui. Oh, how's Kennewick been? On the hottest day of the heat wave, I actually went swimming at the public pool. <laughs> That's what caused me to start busting out the uh, tank tops and actually getting into the um, bathing suit and stuff. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I hope your heat pump starts working. I feel you, we have a busted uh, water heater downstairs, <laughs> an old one, and then we finally replaced it, but the old one is still down there too. I feel you on that, dude, it sucks. Nights haven't cooled past. Oh man, dude, those hot nights though. There was a few days here where it was about 70 degrees, 80 degrees at night, and oh man, I was like, <laughs> Had both my fans going full blast, just like laying here, sweating, but not like drenched yet. But had I turned off those fans, I would have been drenched in sweat, but it, it would have been gross. Yuck. Zombie Freak says they're talking about adding a new area to 76. Ooh, that'll be cool. I wonder what area that is. By the way, what asylum uniforms did you get? I'm still looking for yellow. And of course I would love another red, but I want yellow and I think that's all I need for asylum uniforms. <laughs> it's a never ending cycle of scripts. True. Oh, it's Witch Rocky. What's up, Witch Rocky? Well, thank you for the welcome back. I appreciate it. Yay. Good to be back. This is just like day three of me trying to stream. So if I'm still terrible at it, I apologize, you guys. My bad. <coughs> trying my best though. Cool. It is good to be back though. I'll admit yesterday I did get a little sad at the end of stream. Um, I don't know, I just felt like a little bummed out. But I'm not gonna... No pressure to anybody in chat, you guys, ever to come out of lurk or anything like that. I apologize. That was just me being a little bit bummed out that, um, you know, that I wasn't get into too many conversations. Today's conversation has been awesome. Thank you for that. You know, just already. I'm like, yay, we had some convos. Woo, that's all I wanted. <laughs> I don't talk to many people in real life escapees, to be honest. Um, and so when I do, you know, jump on stream, I, I guess I do, and I shouldn't, but I do kind of expect to, you know, get some social stuff out of it. Me being able to talk to people about, you know, 76 or whatever. And, uh, you know, sometimes when that doesn't happen, I do get a little bummed out. Thank you, Nimi, for the resub. Woo! Much appreciated. Thank you, Nimi. <clears throat> Nim's also a fellow streamer on Twitch. I met him year one of streaming back in 2015. It been good times, escapees. But yeah, so now I'm just gonna, if, uh, I'm not gonna put pressure on chat, you guys. You don't have to talk to me if you don't want to. I'll continue the stream, you know. It's up to me to be the entertaining one. I, I realized that. I realized that. I thought about it yesterday. I'm like, you guys are right. Can't rely on the stream to entertain me. I have to be the one that's entertaining. 
What's up? Don't shoot. Welcome back. Nice. Oh, you do have the red. Sick. The red is the rarest. GG on that. Uh, I have the red, but I wasn't able to find it on my own. It was thanks to Cami God, who is a viewer in chat, Natasha. Uh, she's the one that dropped it for me, so that was really, really cool. She just dropped it for me in stream. I guess, because you know, I, I had mentioned it, I was talking about it, like, oh, I wish I could find that red uniform. And she just comes in front of me on the stream and just drops it right there. I was like, what? And that was really nice. She's also the person that gave me uh, the explosive Gatling plasma. Same thing, you know, I just had mentioned it. And she's like, oh, which one would you like? I'd be like, dude, it'd be awesome to have the like an explosive Gatling plasma. And then all of a sudden she shows up with one. And I'm like, oh my god, where do you get these things? How do you get these super rare items? Because I had never been able to find one on my own. Well, I did find the second rarest asylum uniform, which is the forest one. Found that on my own. I do have a clip of it, um, just in case, you know. Always gotta clip it, otherwise people won't believe. Oh no, why'd they remove Nihilus? Somebody got removed from the team, or they could have crashed. True, game could have crashed. Alright, I'm gonna hobble my way out of here since I am over encumbered. Oh, okay, I was like, why is nothing showing up? Oh man, look at my rads. As a non-bloodied character, that's dangerous. There we go. Hey, Nimi, good to see you, dude. Hope you've been well. Get rid of that rat. I saw you in a private world, Nimrod. I seen it yesterday. I was on stream and I was checking the social. I was like, oh, Nimi's in a private world. I actually ran from somebody on stream yesterday too. Uh, let, me, let me check. Before he talks smack about anybody escapees, let's see if they're here. They're not here, thank goodness. Yeah, dude, I ran from uh, Elliot Nez because, well, there's, you know, I had reasons. Uh, main reason is just that, I, I don't know, you guys, I just feel like Really, and you know, it's happened before. Sometimes people just want to, they'll join your public games or, you know, games for, how would I explain it? They'll join your open world multiplayer games when you're streaming just so that they can, you know, have their character be like, oh, doing goofy stuff in front of your stream. And, you know, sometimes I'm not down for that. I'm just like, oh, dude, come on. I just want to chill and play the game today. <laughs> and so when Elliot does, uh, suppose fast travel to do an event in the area and it happened to be the area where I was at I just ran I jumped servers right away I peaced out <laughs> he was in the chat too he was laughing he was like oh my god I was like you know what I just kind of wanted to do this on my own <laughs> I thought it was hilarious though later oh no everybody's leaving the team they're upset they're mad about the way the situation's been handled Oh, oh, somebody else joined. I might be the next one kicked escapees. Getting kicked off the team. Okay, so I did get a couple of legendary weapons from that uh, event we were just at. I know Encrypted's on, so I gotta hurry up and do this. Uh, yes, there's this one here. Let's get rid of that. And then, uh, what else did I get? Pretty sure I got a piece of armor or something that wasn't very good. Well, you know what? It is of no concern because we're on a time limit. We gotta get to encrypted before it's over. Uh, let me just eat something. Deathclaw steak should still be active. Oh man, look at all that spoiled food. Gotta turn that into fertilizer. Oh, we're right on. Okay, nice. We're at 465 out of 465. We're right on the dot. There's only one person here? Oh man. Hopefully a few more show up. I don't think I'd be able to do right. up, Cryptid alone or just one person. Is this person doing it by themselves? No, they're not. Are they really? You've just initiated the recall process for a rogue assault A tough one. 
This thing's got a shield so strong, hardly anything will dent it. But I have just the solution for oh, that. Oh god. There's three pylons set up around the area. Starting one of these up. We're at the part where we activate the pylons already. I don't know if I want to do that. Oh my god. Fine, I'll do this one. Oh god, I'm stuck. Hurry, get the pylons, lol. Okay, I think that one's already activated. Oh lord. Good luck. Jumped over that fire. Come on, come on. Well, I can't activate that either. Oh, he's activating all of them. All right, well, hey. That's what he wants. Oh god, I almost shot myself. Get him, Ripper Dog! Oh, holy crap! Okay, I'm gonna give up really quick. Yeah, I'm not gonna rely on the only other person to try to, you know, revive me. Hurry, hurry! Respawn quickly! Since we're doing an event, I don't lose any items uh, on that death, thankfully. And I got plenty of shots in on the main boss, so we're good. Here, Ripper Dog, I'll help you out. Oh, shoot! God, now with helping out, I'm gonna be the one that dies. Oh no! Oh god, the guy that. The pylon activator is deceased. Okay, gotta heal up. I gotta activate one of these. Oh lord, have mercy. Okay. Oh my god! So, this legendary cheap squatch that we're battling is actually an Assaultron. So we have to activate all these pylons in order to disable. Yes, yeah, sorry, we got him, escapees. We got him. Woo! He's about to blow. Usually he blows up. Hey, GG Ripperoni. The first time I've only done this with uh, two people. Was this the gutsy legendary? He was! Nice. Oh my goodness gracious. That had a potential to be a cool assault rifle, but turned out to be what it was. talk about oh god I missed some stuff in chat let me see here oh the forest hat nice yeah me neither Rick that's why when I jump on stream I'm always like oh man hopefully people want to talk to me today and then when you know it's like hours and hours go by and stuff nobody's chatting I'm like all right well Nice, hey, feel free to jump in uh, if you want to shop and stuff, zombie. Yeah, I'm totally cool with people in chat, you know, jumping into the game and stuff. It's just, like, and, you know, I don't want to tell anybody how to be or anything, but, you know, don't be one of those annoying peeps that's always, like, jumping in front of the camera, doing emotes. Unless we're, like, really cool with each other, I, I would understand that, but, you know, like, me and Elliot, we don't know each other. I don't know him. Uh, he's jumped into my server off stream when I'm dropping nukes and stuff, you know, and I've told them like, hey, you know, come over to this server because somebody's dropping a nuke, things like that, but we're not close or anything. So when he's like all acting buddy-buddy, you're -buddy, like, you know, doing emotes and jumping around, just taking all the kills in certain areas that I'm going to, um, I'm like, oh God, you know, that kind of makes, I know it's a public game and stuff, but it, it just makes it like, oh, you know, it's lame. <laughs> I don't want to go in an area that somebody already cleared out for me. That's boring. So sometimes I will just peace out of that server. Do what I gotta do. Yay! Alright, that person's dropping the third nuke of the day. I'm actually, you know what, escapees? Since the third nuke's about to fall, Attention, that's as many as you can do in a server within a certain time limit. So I'll get out of the server, go into a new end, I'll see if I can drop a nuke. We'll just see. Because there used to be a really easy way to do it, and I'm curious to know if they patched that out. Because if they patched that out, oh, 
that means that I'm not going to be able to drop any nukes anytime soon. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So I am a bit over encumbered. Look at the stats. Your boiled scorched beast brain. Cranberry cobbler, duck claw sting. Okay, so I do need some... I only have three. Carnivore, marsupial, and speed demon. Oh wow, I only have three mutations. I thought I actually had a bit more with this character. I guess not though. You know what? I'll give her that one mutation that allows her to be invisible. <laughs> Just to have a few more, um, five more percent to those mutant weapons. There's a legendary effect that gives you 5% for each mutation that you have. I thought I had like four or five mutations, which would give us 20, 25%. I only have three, so I'm only doing 15% more damage. Wow. I could have sworn I had at least four. I thought I had chameleon and uh, bird bones, but I guess I don't. Bird bones might not be the best for this character, though. Um, all right, let's see what we're going to do here. Oh, well, that helped a little bit. <laughs> Not enough, though. 85. Uh, okay, let's see. Yes, lady. Dog's over there. Dog visiting. Oh, man. Okay, I thought that would help us out, but it didn't. Hey, you super sledge. Takes it, even though I shouldn't. No. <laughs> well, I'll take it, and I will actually might be able to experiment with that. Uh, legendary crafting is also a thing now with this update, you guys, which I have not done. I've not tried out any legendary crafting just yet, uh, but I did hear that you can take a non-legendary weapon and add those modules and stuff on it, make it into a legendary weapon. All right, I'm gonna have to get out of here somehow. Let's go to the rusty pick. Nope, sorry. My marker. There we go. Should be going the right way. Yes, indeed. All right, making sure that I didn't miss anything in chat. <laughs> we need additional pylons. I know. Give us at least twelve pylons. Oh, that's right. Scorched Earth is going on. Oh God. Grilled Radstag. Do I have Grilled Radstag? I almost forgot that there was a nuke dropping. Oh Lord. Well, let's not lie. I did forget there was a new crop in. <laughs> That's why I was like running on my feet over here. Okay. Nuke has dropped. Get over there quickly. Okay, there's at least six people. I only saw one little dot over there. Like, holy crap, only one person's doing this. Uh, oh, I'm nuked. Spawned in the nuke zone, escapees. <gasps> That's okay, though. <clears throat> I'll run. <clears throat> I'll run and make it. <clears throat> Run and survive. Should be out of the nuke zone. By now. Oh. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> I'm gonna be out here in the outer corner. I'm just spectating everyone. I'm spectating. Hello. No. Alright, let me get my power armor up. There we are. Hey, what's up, Hadoukens? Thank you for the resub, Hadoukens. I appreciate that. Woo! <laughs> Aw, well, thank you. My hair is faded out uh, on purpose, though. Just because I we've been going through a heat wave up here in Washington State and all the Pacific Northwest. And uh, I started going to the public pool, started swimming. So I'm like, well, you know, I can't really spend money on hair dye and then have it all washed out in the pool. So I'm like, let's just let the hair fade out for a bit. But I will be re-dyeing it pretty soon, escape me. It's probably in August or so. But not for not for a little bit of time. Alright, so we're currently at Scorched Earth, which is the first. Remember how we did Earl Williams earlier? Well, Scorched Earth is the first endgame boss. Earl Williams was the second one that they implemented. 
So what we do is we just aim and shoot, aim and shoot. <laughs> Pray that a couple of these bullets hit. No, and there's also enemies on the floor or on the ground that'll show up every now and then. But good to see you, Hadoukens. Been lurking in a few of your streams. By the way, you guys, Hadoukens is also a streamer. If you want to check him out, he plays a lot of cool games, a lot of variety games. Um, I did also see him on Dark Souls 2 uh, quite a bit. I think it was quite a while ago, but still saw him on Dark Souls 2, saw Lusty Bard on Dark Souls 2, saw both of them in each other's chats a few times. Been lurking quite a bit, but I haven't come out of lurk. So that's why, you know, I tell myself, you know, let the lurkers be soul. But I myself like to lurk a lot, so I can't complain, you know. Can't complain about the lurkage. That's me too, I burned through the, the side quest, but main quest stays like hanging on forever. That's exactly what I do. In fact, I, have, I haven't finished the Raiders or the Settlers main quest. The Brotherhood of Steel quest supposedly was wrapped up in this newest update. I haven't even started it. <laughs> I haven't even started it. They're like, oh yeah, we're wrapping up the Brotherhood of Steel quest. We over here have lifted a finger to play again. Hey, hey, hey. Had to spam like five or six uh, stim packs right there. Fire Lord King, leave me alone. Did you see him trying to battle others? All right, he's dead. Oh God, a Snally Gaster. He's in his huge long neck to whack us. A couple of other creatures over here. Yeah, why? There's a bear coming towards you! Run, people, run! Oh, okay, there was something following me. The dog. A little hard to see. Oh my goodness! Got smacked by something. A Wendigo! Oh lord! Alright, we got him, we got him. Ooh, I'm getting up here. Oh no! Oh my god! What were those things called again? A gulper, a gulper! Excuse me, sir. Oh god, I can't even get up here. I'm too fat. <laughs> Gain too much weight during the summer, escapees. Well, I'll take this dirty water, sure. Sure, why not? Probably toss it later. Complain about it later. Oh god, I'm over encumbered again. Must be that dirty water I picked up. Oh, my weapon! Down there on the bottom right, escape piece says my gun's about to break. So what I do is you just pull it up right here in the menu. Use a repair kit. Oh, like magic. We're good. Good to go. Alright, I'm looking for enemies at the bottom. Any stragglers? No stragglers yet. The Scorched Beast Queen is leaving her dust of doom. That's the dust that'll turn anyone who's not inoculated or, you know, vaccinated against that scorched disease. Turn anybody who's in that dust into a scorched. Turn those burnt up, crispy looking humans. You don't want to be a scorched. That's what I learned. We're having to eat food. Cooked food, hopefully. Had a scorched beast steak right in front of the scorched beast. She's gonna be like, hey! You be? <laughs> Aw, thank you, Dukins. I like the fade. Thank you so much, dude. I hope you've been doing well. I hope you've been enjoying the summer, getting out, uh, doing a few things. And if not, if you're not into that, I hope you've been staying home, having fun playing some games. I've been doing both. I did get out, well, mostly staying home playing games. Shh. But uh, I did get out for the 4th of July, which I thought was pretty cool. I'm a huge homebody, so when I do get out, I'm always happy about it. Who's waving? I don't know who they are, but I'll wave back. Oh, fuzz! <laughs> it was the wave of death. I waved and then I died. Felt well, I didn't die, but I fell down. Damn it. It's okay. When's she landing, or are we just gonna shoot her in the air? 
guess we'll just get her in the air. I see some guy's name, or some dude, his name is uh, Spidey, which is pretty cool. But he spelled it differently, he said it's a uh, S-P-Y and then capital D. That's a nice play on words, or play on letters, I guess. Come on, scorched! Here she comes. I'm gonna throw a grenade just for the heck of it. Woo! Yeah! Alright, I'm gonna throw another grenade. Woo! I have 16, so I'm gonna keep tossing a few. Might as well. I'll toss two. Alright, I'm gonna look at the ground. There seems to be a couple enemies on the floor, so let's see if we can get a few. Like that bear over there. Oh shoot, made him fly! Yes! <laughs> oh, 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 there's a honey beast. Oh, anybody else? Oh, oh, somebody's fighting a creature over here. Oh, there's a wendigo right there. Oh, here comes a rat toad. Oh, that guy stalked the rat toad once, dude. One punch, one kill. One punch, man. Well, there's the queen, but I wasn't concerned with her. All right. Throw a couple more grenades for fun. Oh. Oh. She moved a little bit. I ended up grenading her butt. <laughs> but she's not happy with that. Yay! Rest in peace! Victory heart! Did it escape these? And there's a couple of creatures. Okay, there's one. Scorched. Uh, oops. The dogs! Shooting that general direction. Over here is a cave cricket. I got a pipe bolt action pistol. All that hard work is me. Oh, here comes a snallygaster. Right. Oh god, I think the snallygaster is attacking me. Oh my goodness. All right. Oh, the snallygaster is up here. Holy crap. I know, it's like I'm getting attacked by something and then I just walk away. This is a regular Scorched Beast. Should be easy enough to take down. Oh. Woo! I <laughs> did a little nosedive. <gasps> oh god! I keep forgetting we're right next to this huge hole. There. Luckily for us, we're in power armor. So I'm not too uh, not too worried about taking any hard falls or anything. You do not take fall damage in power armor. Oh, another fat man! This is the second fat man I got today. I think street. I think the uh, game is trying to tell me something. Total escape needs a thick man to be with. <laughs> yes, I'm on the search looking for a thick man. Thick man. Man of the thickness. The thicker, the better. Pre diabetic thick, please. <laughs> Alright, sorry, I went too far with that one. <laughs> hey, as a fat person, I'm able to say that. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you guys. I'm, I am fat, but I'm not able to say that, though. That's still rude. Still rude! Okay, cool! Victory! Or Sovngarde! And we're not going to Sovngarde just yet. Woo! Yo, what's up, Daddy Dovahkiin? <laughs> is this the new- yes, this is the new, uh, 
GTA. GTA 6, we've gone so far in the future that now we fight these crazy enlarged bats that have radiation coming out of their eyeballs. No. <laughs> Good to see you, Daddy Dovakin. How have you been? Welcome to the stream. I miss Skyrim too. I just thought, uh, it's crazy that you're here because I just thought of Skyrim. I was like, victory, oh, sovereign god. I look down, I'm like, hey, there's a Dovakin right there. Hadoukens, thank you again for that resub. Uh, you're awesome, dude. I appreciate it. Oops! Shh. <laughs> that was the first time, right? Got it right on the first try. No. Um, huge shout out over to Hadoukens as well, you guys. I know I mentioned it. He is a streamer also here on Twitch. He plays a lot of different games, you guys. He was playing some Dark Souls 2 which I wanted to watch like a lot of the stream, but I haven't played Dark Souls 2 myself, so I only got to see like bits and pieces here. Same with Lusty Bard, I'm like, oh man. I'm like, that's such a good game. Uh, just from what I've seen, you know, I played the other Dark Souls games, one and three, but oh man, I've always wanted to play number two. <clears throat> so I wasn't able to watch them fully, but I did get to lurk on some of those awesome boss battles. I remember Lusty uh, in particular, because he was in that one area that has all those enemies in order, and he's like asking chat, you know, should I fight these guys? Should I? No, maybe. And then in the end, you know, I think he uh, he decided he's like, yeah, or or I think people actually I can't remember. I might have this backwards. I think people voted for him to fight them, and he bypassed them, or the opposite, where people voted for him to bypass them, and he said, no, I'm gonna fight them. I'm not sure, but one of those scenarios happened. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna get. I know I said I was gonna try to do some legendary crafting on this sledge, but it's just way too heavy right now. I'm gonna get rid of it. And it's gone! Shed no tears for it. Or it has left our inventory. And it now be with the over encumbrance gods. <laughs> Let them deal with it. Oops, I got stuck. Okay, so I'm still a little over encumbered, all jokes aside. Let's see if I can make it to Nova Daimos. Camp over here, a little tent. Hey, what's up, Lusty? <laughs> yeah, Hadoukens isn't here. I was telling him about the uh, Dark Souls 2 runs. Yeah, one of those happened, Lusty. I can't remember which one. I remember that you said, or I think you asked chat whether you should fight all those dudes that were leading up to the main boss or just bypass them. And then I can't remember what chat said, but you ended up doing your own thing. Which I was like, yeah, good for you. <laughs> and I, I remember people were backseating you too a little bit. You got a couple of, well, not backseaters, but people kind of telling you what to do or where to go. And you had to shut them down, I remember. And I was like, oh, yep. <laughs> I'm like, that's, yeah, that happens. That's what I remember a lot, especially uh, when I was playing Dark Souls 3. That was my first Dark Souls game. Uh, a lot of peeps, you know, and I was just trying to enjoy the game. My very first time ever playing any type of Dark Souls. Just trying to enjoy the game, you know, you got people... And they're just trying to be helpful to you, you know. But you got people coming in like, Oh, you need to go this way or you're going the wrong way. You can't fight that boss yet, you know. And that's cool and stuff, but... I don't know, when you do that, you kind of miss out on the funny moments where the streamer could have messed up. Like, I love those funny deaths. <laughs> I think they're hilarious. And when somebody, you know tells me, oh, you can't go that way because, you know, there's a super hard boss at the end. I'm like, damn it, you know, I could have run into the hard boss, got my ass whooped, we could have had a laugh. But now that I know, I'm going to clear the other way. Now that I know about that boss, I'm never going to that area again. There we go. All right. Am I still over encumbered? Yeah, of course. What kind of question is that soul? Um, real quick, escapees, I know it's a little bit weird. Well, no, I can't stay here. Um, I have to use the restroom. But I was going to say, I know it's a little weird to just, you know, hang out here. It's not safe to be here, escapees. So we'll go back to... Okay, I'll drink an alcohol. Let's drink some water. Maybe that'll help us out. Sometimes water weighs a lot in this game. <laughs> not enough this time, though. Dang it. Here, I'll have some cram. We're like full of food down there on the bottom right. I'm still eating. Just eat anyways. 
Come on, we gotta eat enough to get to 490. Dude, why do I have so much honey? Gosh. Over here, some potato crisps. Dang it. There we go. <laughs> After drinking like 20 waters, now my character's gonna have to go pee as well. Okay, so that was the final nuke escapees. Yay, we had a little victory right there. Not too bad. Uh, that was three nukes in the server. We're gonna have to either wait three or four hours for them to drop the new nuke, which I'm not gonna do. So when I come back, we'll be jumping into a new server and then I'm gonna try to drop a nuke uh, just for whatever server we end up in. Okay, so let's go restroom, or let me put my character to sleep. I'm gonna go take a quick restroom break. And first of all, let's do the spiel, woo! First time I did the spiel uh, in about a month was yesterday and I completely goofed it up. I forgot the order of the cards, I forgot everything. Let me get a quick look. Okay, I'll see if I can do the spiel. <clears throat> Please, you guys, if you're enjoying the stream, consider hitting that follow button for me here on Twitch or on any of my social media sites. You can find me at soul underscore escape, capital S-O-U-L underscore 3SC4P3 on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, uh, TikTok. I almost said twick talk. <laughs> Uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, OnlyFans, all that stuff, you guys, soul underscore escape. You can even Google it to find any other secret accounts I might have. No, I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, there's that. Capital S-E-U-L. Oh, okay, see, I messed up. I forgot to flip the card. Oops. There we go. S-E-U-L underscore 3-S-C-4-P-3. Um, I do have a Snapchat also open and available to the public. That one is solar escape. S-O-U-L 0-U-R 3-S-C-A-P-E. S-O-U-L 0-U-R 3-S-C-A-P-E for that one. My gamer tag here on the Xbox Series X. I do have the Xbox Series X is Soul Space Escape. Capital S-O-U-L space 3-S-C-4-P-3. S-O-U-L space 3-S-C-4-P-3. So just get rid of the underscore right there. We're currently at 9,100 followers. I have been streaming since 2015. So a good six years, escapees. Woo! Thank you for all the help, the hosts, the retweets, uh, all the love because I could not have gotten to you, that follower account without your help. Thank you. And thanks for all the subs today. Woo! And the gift subs. Thank you for the gift subs at stage. That was really cool. It was nice to meet you too. It was the first day we seen him. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Lesty. There is a story behind the cards. Well, just real quick, I'll tell it. Um, the story behind the soul stream cards or the soul cards is that for a little bit, um, I did tell you guys earlier, I have an i7 laptop, right? That I got in 2016. Well, when I started the stream, I did not, I had an older laptop that I had been using since college uh, before that. And so I had started up this stream in 2015 with my old ass laptop and I had been doing the same thing. I used it to type on, use it to do the hype and all that stuff. And what had happened was sadly that computer, its motherboard eventually stopped spinning or something stopped spinning inside of it. And I had to um, either repair it for, you know, even more than it was worth or get a new laptop. So in between of, uh, you know, saving up money for a new laptop and stuff, I was like, how am I going to communicate with the stream, dude? I can't, you know, I can't type in chat anymore. Can't drop emotes. I can't uh, shout people out. Can't give them the fellowship hype, things like that. So I had to devise a way to talk to the stream without, you know, showing you guys, I guess, words and how to find me without actually typing it in. So that's where the soul cards came in. We used these for at least a few months. And then after I got the new laptop and stuff, I didn't want to get rid of them. I was like, no, we got the cards now. <laughs> I like the cards. The cards are awesome. But yeah, they originally came about because I had no way to type in chat for a few months. Oh, thank you. Hey, thanks, Lusty, using the Twitch Prime. Much love, Lusty Bard. Thank you for that. Um, by the way, Escapees, he is also a Twitch streamer. He also plays instruments, real instruments, not just like this recorder. <laughs> Although he does know how to play recorder too. Thank you, Lusty Bard, for remaining ascended in the stream. Much appreciated. Reese the pipe. If you want to find Lusty, here is a link to his channel. And going on with that info, if you missed any of my social media spiel, there's all the links where you can uh, find it if you do so choose. Yay! Alright, escapees, well thank you for being here. I'm going to take a quick restroom break, but I will be back in about five minutes or so. Hopefully not even that long. Alright, see you soon. <laughs> Somebody found me right there. We'll see what they do.
they have free reign since I'll be, you know, gone for a little bit. <laughs> People can come and jump on my character, or do whatever they want. Okay, I'll be back, Escapee. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Basris! I never imagined that I would share a home with somebody wonderful. You all of this. This is my life.
Okay, there we go. Sorry about that, you guys. <sighs> Had to go to the restroom. And then I took a quick hit of herb. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I see somebody lurking around over here. And all hail the holy bed. Who said that? <laughs> At stage. That's funny. All hail the holy bed. Oh, I guess stuff bad. <laughs> somebody was creeping around. How dare they? I think they're shopping. Or or looking at their uh, stash. Um, okay, well as for us, I was actually thinking about, well, all three nukes have been dropped in this server. And I've been asking the question, have they patched that silo glitch where you can just go through the wall easily the way I've been doing it? I don't know, so I'm curious. I want to go test that out myself. I haven't got a answer or response yet. So I'm very, very curious. Alright, that person, they peaced out. Well, they're not doing much. Alright, let's leave. Oop. Cool. Oh, I wonder what that, you see that circle under my camp? I wonder what that quest was. <laughs> oh well. Best to not think about it now. We're not getting back in that server, sadly. <laughs> nice, Rick. Rick's like, I need to take a hit soon. I feel you. It's about that time for me too. We're an hour and a half into the stream. Might as well start taking some hits of weed. <laughs> okay. First things first, let's see if this is a decent server. And let me get my gum out. Okay. Cool. Well, it looks decent so far. Just looking at the uh, amount of teams and stuff, I would Let's see if I can join. Dang it. Well, no team for me, sadly. Oh, it looks like they did already drop a nuke here. Checking the silos, see if an seeing if anyone is in them right now. Nope. And it looks like it's only one nuke. One right there. Hmm. Okay. Well, might as well. I mean, somebody's already been nice enough to drop the first nuke. I'll drop the second one then. Or I'll go try at least. Well, we can't go anywhere though if you're going to be over in Cumbered Soul. True. True, true, true. So, first things first, I really actually have to deal with uh, some of these weapons. Let me get to my stash box too. Which is right here. <laughs> Same. Well, me too, so I can't complain, zombie. I just took a hit, so... I can't be like, no, it's not time yet. No, weed is bad. Shouldn't be doing that. I'll try to sell this uh, gun. It's not very good, but I'll try to sell it for some caps. Okay, maybe I'm accumulating a few of these grenades that I don't want. That I need to get rid of for sure. Nobody's going to buy that assault rifle. Is that Legendary crafting is another thing that I haven't yet experienced, even though that is also new within this uh, new season or a new update. Ooh, I need to get rid of this pipe bolt as well. This can go in my box. The stalker's fat man I think we can get rid of as well. That too. Okay, let's sell some stuff. Usually I don't like selling stuff on stream because sometimes I'm not paying attention. So I'll either lowball myself or price it really high that no one's going to buy it. <laughs> but let me see a few of my other weapons. See, they're in like the 600 cap range. Not too bad. Most expensive. I have a couple things for 150 caps. Not bad. Nobody wants them though. <laughs> One star items, of course. Okay, so I'll sell this for about, mm, say like 200 caps, maybe. Well, you, yeah, 200's good. I was gonna say 150 or so. I don't know if anyone would want this, but I'm thinking a particular type of player could use it, so I will try to sell that. The Cultist Dagger. I'll try to sell that too. It's not the best, but. Go 400 for this one. It's got some nice stars on it. 
That we gotta get rid of. Junkies baseball bat, I'm kind of... I'll sell it, we'll see. I don't have a junkie character, so... I have kept a junkie's uh, assault rifle that had a couple of uh, good stars after it too, but that's just in case somebody wants to trade, maybe. I don't know, I follow this Reddit page. Uh, it's the Fallout 76 trading page, and you can find a bunch of people that want to trade legacy weapons or... But, you know, equal trades, so I don't have anything that would equal a legacy weapon just yet. Uh, unless I trade out like three or four of my good weapons just for one legacy. But anyways, like I was saying, so sometimes I keep certain weapons just in case on the off chance I might be able to trade them someday. This one I was thinking about keeping, but you know what? It's a cool baseball bat. It's got some good stars on it. I'm going to get rid of it for 550 if possible. This pickaxe, oh, I might save it for a bit. It's got the name change that kind of kept me. And this I'll try to sell for about 800 caps. Well, because what is this? This is a two shot tactical western revolver. It already does 100 damage. That's pretty good. That's pretty good damage for a revolver. Look at that, we're going 950. See, I might have highballed on that one. Oh well. I win the lottery. Why do I have the voice of set still? Voice of set. This weapon right here is a weapon that you get with the Mistress of Mystery quest line. So I'm wondering, did I pick that up from somewhere? There was some dude that recently, that two shot revolver, I actually got that from some guy that was at the Earl Williams event earlier. Um, he dropped a whole bunch of legendary weapons. I think that was yesterday's Earl Williams event. But anyway, someone dropped a whole bunch of legendary weapons and then people gathered around, they just started spamming A. So I was like, wait, I want someone too! And I ended up getting that two-shot revolver. So I might have got this too, I'm not sure. Because I haven't done the Mistress and Mystery quest with this character in a long time. If at all. I'm not sure if I've even done it at all with this How character. Could anyone throw away this all right, now what about this stuff here? Someone might buy this. Five percent chance to deal a hundred energy damage to melee attackers. What? Oh, okay. So if somebody's melee attacking you, though. Okay. Interesting. The higher your caps. This is actually not too bad of a arm I um, get rid of that scrap. the old-fashioned way well not literally this I'll try to sell <clears throat> but for cheap what well, kind of cheap like 350 yeah. cool all right, my inventory is still <clears throat> a little bit crazy here. But that's okay, because I still have some stuff to get rid of. Wait, what is this? Okay, it is Deathclaw steak. Nice. I just can't shake these nightmares. Do I have any grilled nice radstag? Just Did I run out of grilled radstag? Oh no, there it is. Okay. I know, I was like, I could have sworn I had a lot. Okay, we're good now. Yay. Let's see if any of these teams have opened up. There is an opening there. I'll try to get in with this one. Hello, team. I'm gonna go drop a nuke or see if I can drop a nuke. Alright, wish me luck escaping. We'll see if we can do this. I don't know. <laughs> My attempts at being sneaky have failed in this game. Same. Always, always get caught when I'm sneaking around. Yeah, Mysterious Camp Circle, whatever that quest was. I'll never be able to see it. A place you could advertise your shop items? Oh! You mean like Instagram or Facebook? Oh, oh, you mean like the Reddit and stuff? Yeah, if you have extra stuff to trade that you know is like a really, really good value. Um, that Reddit, you can definitely post up like, Hey, I have a two-shot explosive assault rifle, but 
you know, I'd be willing to trade for somebody's legacy. And then you just wait around and see if anyone wants to trade with you. Sometimes they'll be like, hell no. <laughs> I haven't tried at all. I've just been reading to get a, you know, feel for the trade. Hey, legendary, what? What do you give us? Uh, nothing too good. Let me be. There we go. But no, that that kind of when you mentioned that, that kind of made me think of trying to advertise our weapons on Instagram and stuff. <laughs> I'm like, hey, that wouldn't be too bad of an idea. Sadly, I don't think I have the best weapons though. I do have a couple legacies, but I'm not not gonna trade those. Not if I don't have to. All right, let's go in. We're in Sight Charlie right now. I have a few nuclear key cards on me. Um, I just gotta Google the code for the week and we'll see what happens. If I can't go through this door the magic way, then I'll know that they patched it. Credentials not found. Activating security system alpha. Whoa, Stand by whoa. For security inspection. He's got a little glitchy right there. All right, we're good here. Oh, like Discord too, that'd be a good one. Ooh, a Fallout 76 Discord. That would be badass. I'd have to look around for that. True, true. <laughs> okay, let's see here. All right. So we made it in. It's been a while, escapees. I've dropped my own nuke. Uh, we start looking for an ID card. Oh god! Oh, that's right, that's right, I forgot there's turrets and stuff. <laughs> oh, I just went in here all crazy. Go, oh god! Hold your horse! Okay. So sometimes we get lucky. Yes, there we go. I was gonna say, sometimes we get lucky and there's a card here. Now next, after you pick up your biometric ID card, you must go and find that thing that looks like a symptomatic security incident in the residential is over sector. here. <laughs> Alright, it's over here in the medical bay. What do they call this again? The biometric scanner. It looks like a symptomatic though. You just pop in. Oh god, Mr. Handy's gonna come in here. He's all complaining. And who gets to clean up all this blood? Yes, of course, you. You're the robot. You think the humans want to lift a finger and do that? Pfft, please. Okay, so now we got the biometric ID. We got the, our ID scanned into it. All we got to do is put those two together. Bring them back to this area. Scan the card first. Fabricating replacement security personnel. Make sure there's no robots behind you. Mm. Yes, make sure there's no robots behind you. <laughs> I thought so. I could hear him breathing on me. Yes, he was breathing. So yes, make sure the card was scanned. I already did that. Good, good, good. Go ahead and enter into here. Fabricate the biometric ID. Excellent. Good. All right, we got it. So now we have the two components merged into one, just like we needed. There's a couple of turrets in this room, I remember. I didn't remember the other turrets, but I do remember that there's at least two here. Oh, there's the other one. Oops. <laughs> well, it's over. All right, one more? Nope. All right, you just slide this card right here. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, apparently I got some scoreboard points. Registration complete. I'm only, oh, I'm at rank 14, wow. That's pretty quick. It is double score week though. Scanning. Key card detected. Okay, Proceed you go over here, go into storage. Here's the first door that we can glitch through. If we're not able to get to glitch through it, that means that they finally patched up the easy way to get through the silos, which I really hope they didn't. All right, here we go. So we see how we try to unlock it, it requires the terminal. 
Um, the original way, you'd have to go all the way this way and put together some weird puzzle in this nuclear area. And it's just a huge pain. It's not too, too bad. You just fight some robots and you have to repair a whole bunch of pipes. The hardest part is repairing all the pipes and stuff. Just because you're under a time limit, sometimes you forget where they are. Or at least, you know, I have. I've, I've only been in there a couple of times, so I'm like, oh, rushing around and get some anxiety. <laughs> okay, so now, the easy way to go through here is that you go into photo mode, and you zoom in like you're gonna just zoom in, and then you exit. Oh, they haven't patched it, woo! Oh, I mean, I shouldn't be that excited. I mean, oh no. Oh, darn. Why would they not patch that? Commencing oh, oh, I forgot about these. I forgot about these. These turrets are weird. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Woo! Oh man, I only got a couple shots from that guy. Alright, here's the second door that we have to do the same thing for. Same thing, you go into photo mode, you get really close, you zoom in, press B. Oh, that was my fault, I did that incorrectly. Right, we can do this, this, and then B. No. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> I don't know how, but somehow we managed to joggle through there. <laughs> well, now that I guess that proves the point, I answered my own question. They have not patched the silo glitches. Shh. I mean, we got through here legally, right, you guys? <laughs> Fought all those robots. <laughs> yeah. That was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, I'm just joking. Okay, so now we're in the main area. This is where the uh, the nuke stuff kind of starts going down. Control room active. All, right, all stations here. standing by. Proceed to if the I remember correctly, and if no one's been in here, oh, there's there's the control tron. Fuzzer. There should be some. Yeah, there they are. Should be some turrets around. It's been a while, so I don't know exactly where they're at. There, I see one shooting from that way. I am using my legacy weapon, so my OP weapon. <laughs> it would have taken a lot longer if I used my regular one. Watch, I'll try to shoot that laser with my regular. My second strongest weapon, the quad. not dead yet. There we go. <laughs> See how long that took. It's a little bit of time right there. Be killing this uh, launch commander. Woo. Takes a while with the regular weapon. Oh no! Okay, there we go. It's right there. Shots to the face. Oh no 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 no! I see you over there. Oh gosh! Let me be, Saltron. <laughs> Let me be. Here she comes. She's crawling towards us. There, not anymore. Excellent. So yeah, that's basically what we're doing right now. Is what you want to do. Um, we're going to be protecting a couple of bots <clears throat> that will walk in slowly as soon as we start the timer. So before we do that, it is advisable to clear out the area of all the turrets, otherwise it just makes it even more pain in the butt. <clears throat> makes it harder to finish this quest if you don't clear out the turrets and all that stuff, which I just ran by a couple. Oh god. Alright, back to the legacy weapon. See how fast that was. Oh, it didn't blow up all the way. No, feed the people is on. I love feed the people. I need some more canned meat stew. Oh. Alright, that should be it. As far as enemies that we can see. There's usually two Sultrons. Um, one... Which I saw two, actually. But uh, usually there's one... Robobrain. That we fought, but we actually fought two. Let's go ahead and initiate this launch, launch prep. Initiated. All, All right. Take your then you get your powerful All weapon. Personnel. You can go ahead and perch up wherever you want. And then, oops. Launch what we gotta do is we just gotta protect active. these incoming robots. So we'll just be sitting here for a while. Launch in progress. 
Security Enemies! Two, Yay! The control room. Security teams to the control room. It saves so much ammo, the true. I know, we're legal, right, you guys? We, we went through this the whole hard way. <laughs> no, but that's cool, because I was wondering. I'd been asking chat the last couple of days, like, hey, does anyone know if they've patched that glitch for the silos? And, you know, nobody had an answer. That was okay, because I didn't know either. I'm like, I don't know. But now, you know, I came and tested it out myself. So I know for sure they have not patched the silo, the silo door glitch. So, just in case anyone was curious. <laughs> Melty death beams. Thanks for being here, you guys. I appreciate it. We're just dropping a nuke real quick. We're just dropping a nuke. Now the next thing is, where are we going to drop it? Are we going to drop it at the Scorched Earth, where that big bat creature flies around? Or am I going to drop it at Earl Williams, where that crazy three-headed Wendigo appears? I'm thinking Earl Williams. Because somebody has already dropped a nuke down over at Scorched Earth. Nobody has dropped a nuke yet at the other place, so I think I'll try. So I think... I'm actually... My camera, sadly, is covering the uh, quote-unquote quest that we're doing, the mission we're doing right now. So what I'm trying to do is I'm defending the section chiefs. One of them is coming out right here, and you see him walking. And another one, I think, is being attacked back there, so I'm just going to... Don't worry, you can't damage the uh, the people we're, the robots we're supposed to protect here. You can't damage them, so... And yes, I'm shooting at them so that I can tell you that. <laughs> so I can prove it! Who shot at me? Was that you? Because it's bot. Oh, oh, there he is. Protect John. Alright, we got him. Nice, so here comes another one. That guy is about to get to his station. There should be one more behind us. Yeah, right here. He's good. Nobody's being attacked yet. All we gotta do is just protect these little guys. There is a bar on my screen, but sadly my camera is right in front of it. Um, it's filling up slowly as we progress. So I'd say we're about like a third of the way there. Fabricating replacement security personnel. That's it. Yeah, that's an officer right there, too. <laughs> I was about to shoot him. You're a robot. You're getting shot. That's robot racism, escapees. I see an iBot coming that way, but... Too busy drinking water to do anything about it. I know it sounds dumb, you guys, but drink your water for real, especially during the summer. Like, I was drinking three of these full glasses a day, thinking that was enough water. Sadly, when I measured it out, it's only about 60 ounces for three of these. And um, supposedly we're supposed to get about uh, 90 to 96 ounces in the summer, especially if you live in the hotter states. And dude, I guess I wasn't getting enough water, which is crazy, because water's like the only thing I drink. It's insane. But I have up my water intake and it's made me feel a lot better. Definitely. And it just, it blows my mind. And that's why I like to mention it and stuff. It blows my mind because I do drink a lot of water. I've always, you know, thought that I was fully hydrated, you know, most times. And learning that I wasn't kind of blew my mind a little bit. So even if you think you're being hydrated, measure it out and stuff, escapees. Make sure, you know, you're actually, actually hydrated. That could have been, you know, reasons that I've been getting headaches and stuff when I do go work out or uh, even swimming and stuff. Before I had been drinking a lot of water, I'd get headaches after getting out of the pool. Like, why is that? Well, maybe it's because you're dehydrated. But it took me to, you know, it took a while for me to actually get it through my head. I had to actually see the numbers. Like, oh, you know, you're only getting 60 ounces per day. You should be getting 90. And actually measuring it out, I'm like, oh, crap. <laughs> Whoops! I thought I was healthy. God damn it! I am a degenerate after all. No. Yep, so we're just waiting. Launch prep complete. Woo! 
And that's it, escapees, A hey, GG. All you gotta do basically is, you saw it here, you just defend these uh, silo bots and you're good to go. Victory hype. Whoa. Hey Jedi, thank you for the raid yesterday. Sorry that I was peacing out. I did end up going on a uh, walk jog. But yeah, Jedi is a streamer. He did raid us yesterday. That was really cool. Just dropping a nuke here, Jedi. Just casually dropping some nuclear you know, detonations around the uh, system. So next we turn around, we insert our key card. Key card accepted. Key and card here's the fun part, escapees. Now I gotta figure out a code. No, you know me, I'm gonna Google it. <laughs> so we Googled the code here. We're at site Charlie, I believe. So let's go Fallout 76. Um. I'm looking at my last Googles. <laughs> Our weekly challenge is broken, and it turned out they were. They had a glitch at the beginning of this season. Um, Fallout 76 nuke codes. Thank you. All right, let's see if this is... Oh, wow, are they changing tomorrow? All right, let's see if this is the right one. 9057. 4792. I know I can't see crap Access either. Granted. Nice. Hey, was right. Thank you, Google. Thank you. NukaCrypt.com. All things Nuka related. Woo! Shout out to NukaCrypt.com. All right, here we go. We're going Earl Williams too, depending on whoever whoever joins us up here. So where's the mine? Yes, Monaga mine. All right, I haven't dropped a nuke in a while, so let me. Get my bearings. I'll kind of drop it a little crazy over here. Oops. I know I don't want to get the. <laughs> One time I've uh, I've got the nuke zone to hit Site Bravo when I needed to go to Site Bravo to drop the last nuke, and then I felt dumb. I'm like, oh, I'm hearing the radiation that I caused. So I don't want to drop it next to Site Bravo. And then the other time, I've dropped it at Sunny Top Station when I've actually needed to like haul my ass there because I was over encumbered. <laughs> so now I learned my lesson. I'm gonna drop it a little bit this way. Oops, too far. All right, here we go, escapees. Ready? Confirm. We dropping a nuke. Soul Escape launched a nuke here. Yeah. Woo. Cool. All right, let's get out of here. We're Earl Williamsing it. All right, fat traveling back home. <laughs> Drop one. Why on your camp, Jedi? I like your camp. Is that for like a? Uh, <laughs> imagine if that's a uh, an achievement where you gotta have a nuke drop on your camp. That would be awful. I know one of the achievements or maybe not a challenge or whatever that you can get is having a nuke dropped on your own character. If you run into the nuke zone before the bomb drops um, and you let it fall on you, you do get an achievement for that. I think it's called Ground Zero. Hey, who knew the number? Oh, nice. Did you Google it, uh, Stage? That's pretty sick. I was like, who knew the number there? Who was faster than me and how dare? Well, I would say Earl gives better guaranteed experience, but supposedly the Scorch Beast event gives the better loot. At the end of the event, um, Scorched Earth will give you, like, you'll get fluxes, which fluxes are used to craft um, kind of legendary materials. Not legendary materials, but Flux is used to craft like your nuclear related armor and to upgrade certain weapons uh, to make them, I don't know, more ballistic or anyways, it, it upgrades a whole bunch of stuff. But uh, yeah, so you get more Flux from the Scorched Beast event, which I think a lot of people, uh, you know, they, they enjoy that a bit more. But in my opinion, I'm not sure if it's true or not, but in my opinion, you get more experience from the Earl Williams, which I like too. You get a couple Fluxes. Um, I guess maybe not as many as Scorched Earth, but still a decent amount. <laughs> Good thing Bender isn't able to hear you. 
I don't drink enough. I was, that blows my mind to stage. It's like, dude, I've been drinking water for a long time. And I always thought I was fully hydrated, but no, doctor was like, oh, well, I recommend 96 ounces. I'm like, and so I measured it out the other day because I'm like, oh, surely that has to be a 32 ounce cup. Oh, well, I get three of these. That's 96. Turns out this is only about 20 something ounces. If I fill it to the brim, if I fill it here, it's only about 20 ounces. I'm like, no, dude, I've only been getting like 60, 70 ounces of water a day. So crazy enough, I would dehydrate and I didn't believe it. Yeah, right. Water and energy drinks. Yeah, there's water, energy drinks, sodas, all that good stuff too. Juice. So if you do drink some of that, then you're probably more hydrated than I was. Um, I hadn't been drinking any other juices or anything, so I was just drinking water. And it gets boring sometimes, not going to lie. Water does get a little boring here and there. Um, so that's why I was only sticking to those uh, three or four glasses of it. <laughs> yeah, it's a feature, right, Jedi? That wasn't no glitch. That was a feature. Yeah, it's just Easter eggs, right? Hi, Spoon. A late hello. I'm sorry, a four minute late hello. Oh. Well, I guess it with any nuke stage, if somebody nukes the area and you run into it, oh, and you just let it fall on you and kill your character, you get an uh, achievement for that. I don't know why, but um, you do. I don't know if we can check that in here. I think it might be a world challenge. But I know it's a real achievement on Xbox as well. It might not be in this actual challenge area. But I thought it was a challenge too. Maybe not though. Hmm. Revive players. Make a friend. Nope. Craft stuff. Destroy stuff. Kill stuff. Oh, here we go. Oh, launch a nuke is one of them, too. Okay. Well, getting hit by a nuke, I guess, is a real Xbox achievement. Launch the nuke is the challenge, I suppose. I could have sworn you got a challenge for uh, getting hit with a nuke, too. <laughs> Maybe survival, huh? <laughs> Survive nuclear winter. Dude, poor nuclear winter. Nuclear winter was Fallout 76's Battle Royale mode. Um, and sadly, I guess it didn't pan out as they wanted. So they're actually going to cut that content uh, in November, I believe. Yay, somebody showed up. Woo! Oh my god, eight people showed up. Oh, I'm faster. Oh god, I'm encumbered. <gasps> okay, don't hyperventilate. Oh, no, no, no. Please don't put me in a different instance. Oh god. That's what I get. Come on, come on. Um, what am I doing? What am I doing? Look for... Well, click on the thing. Okay, there's that. We got you, chat tablet. We got you set situated. Okay, there we go. There we go. Go, hurry, soul. Oh, please, let me be able to fight this with a couple of people. Oh, I got into the one that only has three people in it. Oh, I hope we're good high levels. Please, let us be high levels. Um, so what happens with the Earl Williams event, it is a little different from the Scorched Earth event, where this one is instance. What that means is that I don't know why, but there's not enough. I'm not I'm not sure how to explain it either, but for some reason, there's not a way for there to be more than like 12 or, I'm actually not sure how many it is. It's like eight, nine or 12, something like that. Um, they only let about 12 players per instance fight Earl at once. I don't know why, you know, the whole server can't join, probably will break or something. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's too many people in one area. So anyways, they break it up, they only allow, I'm not sure if it's 12, I think it might just be 8 players per instance. I'm just gonna say 8. It, it gives you like 8 players per instance. Oh god, this guy's giving the thumbs up, he's probably laughing, he's like, we're all level 100 here. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be difficult. I hope I have enough. Oh god, I only have nine? Okay. You know what? I gotta peace out really quick. I'm not leaving. I'm just going back up here to do a little bit of ammunition crafting. Because if it's just gonna be us four, oh man, this is gonna take a while. It won't be quick like that other Earl Williams event that we did a few minutes ago. Oh, there's another person. Thank the heavens. Okay. 
no. Gets me super duper. What on earth? Super duper, and I also need the ammo smith. Yes, thank you. All right, so we will do a little crafting here. Let's craft some armor. <laughs> craft some armor. Craft some ammo. Sorry. We're gonna need the ultrasight ammo. We're gonna need ultrasight plasma cores. Nine. Oh, that doubled. Well, it didn't double all the way, so I'd say about. I had like 14 there. Okay. So 9, 9, 18, 14. We made at least 24 cores. Alright, we should be good. <laughs> now we got like 30 cores. We should be decent. Okay. Get rid of Ammo Smith. Go back to what I had before, which was what? Adrenaline? I think it was. Or was it through Hiker? Through Hiker. Yes. And then get rid of Super Duper. We'll go back to. What did I have? Class Freak? And then I know I had something else that was worth two. Tormentor, probably. All right, let's go. Over encumbered, but that's all right. It will be over encumbered by the time we get out of here. <laughs> Anyways, so we'll be over encumbered regardless. Oh, thank you, Nightbot. Nightbot with the links there in chat. <laughs> that Jenny. That's Jenny's phone number. You know, it's funny, my name is Gina, and I used to go by Ginny, <laughs> so that kind of reminds me of me, like, oh god, that's my phone number. Okay, let me see here. I know we're lying to myself this whole time. I was like, yeah, I got my 32 ounces, I got my large soda's worth of water. Nope. Oh, spoons from the Hadouken stream, hey! Hadouken's is amazing, spoon, welcome in. Oh, 8675309. I thought that was the code for some reason. <laughs> I didn't read it. I just saw the 8 and I was like, oh, yeah, that was the code we just used. Thank you, whoever did pop the thing. Yay. Okay. Oh, there's a level 500 with us. Yay. Bless the heavens. So before I go in, I'm going to go ahead and eat a canned meat stew for the 5% more experience and also. A liquid Courage, woo! Liquid Courage will allow us to become uh, invulnerable to those screams that the Wendigo Colossus, aka Earl Williams, does. All right, let's go in. I see a couple small Wendigos on the floor, so we're just gonna shoot them real quick. All right, I'm gonna, oh God, oh God, oh God. I'm gonna help this person right here. Okay, there we go. Oh shoot, somebody else is Wendigo hunting, smart. Alright, it looks like we're doing some decent damage. Gotta reload. Looks like I have 42 plasma cores now, so we are in no worries of running out of ammo. I have run out of ammo on Earl Williams' event before. It's terrible. <laughs> I had to use my other weapons, and then eventually I just let my character die so you could spawn back up top and then use that ammunition to make more. The ammo crafting table to make more. Alright, so we did some good damage on Earl. He's far up there on the top center. So I'm gonna go hunting real quick. <clears throat> what that means is I'm just gonna shoot a few of these bot Wendigos just for the experience and stuff. Not to mention, uh, you know, you get some screws and other materials when you decide to loot their bodies after this event is over. <clears throat> so right now I'm just going to go hunting. I am using my legacy weapon, yes. If I use anything lesser, this would take a lot longer and probably more death. Come on. Come on, plasma rifle, I know you wanna shoot. Oh, oh gosh. I thought that dude was uh, window go hunting as well. I think he was just running around. That's okay. a great area too if you're low level i brought my level i think she was only like about level 10 or so brought my level 10 character here thinking oh man i'm gonna die so much but uh i got lucky i was on a public team and that public team 
had a card that he was sharing. Uh, you can share cards with the teammates. Just one. <laughs> oh, I'm being chased. Oh! Okay, we're good, we're good. We survived. Uh, they had a card that they were sharing that allowed me to get benefits of their stim packs whenever they used stim pack. And so my level 10 character was getting healed whenever that other person was healing. And uh, so I got really lucky during this event. And I ended up leveling up, I want to say about 6 to 8 levels. Just by sh taking little pop shots of these Wendigos. I wouldn't kill them fully because I, you know, I wasn't a high enough level. But I was taking little pot shots at these Wendigos so I'd get the experience too when somebody else would kill them. And it worked out pretty well, so... You know, don't be too shy if you're a low-level character. Join these hard events. You do get some major experience. And the creatures do uh, tailor to your level. So the Wendigos and stuff, they weren't level 75 when I was level 10. They were only about like level 40 or so. So still, you know, super strong, but uh, not as horrible, you know, as, as the actual high, high level when you go. Same with Earl. I think Earl Williams, when I was level 10, he was only like level 40 or something. But still, like when I was shooting him with that level 10, it wasn't doing anything. <laughs> it was like the tickle of a feather. All right, so still hunting when it goes. I was waiting till they stopped spawning, but they keep coming, so... <laughs> Might as well, right? Might as well get our fill. Alright, got a couple here. I'm losing health, but I'm not sure. I must have stepped into one of those areas or something. Oh, there's Earl! You're still alive! What do you want, Earl? Alright, gotta reload really quick. So far, we've only used two of our Ultrasight Plasma Cores. Alright, here we are. Let's get a couple more shots on him. He'll probably get mad and start chasing him. Oh, somebody's shopping at the camp during this drama. <laughs> Somebody bought some ammunition rounds. <clears throat> Alright, that's the big girl that we're shooting at. But a little, a little sketchy, a little crazy on stream. A little blurry. Alright, I'm gonna go hunting. Just see if there's any enemies about. See this falling area? That's where you lose a lot of health, sadly. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> and then I go through it. That's where you lose a lot of health. First needs to walk through. Oh, there's a Wendigo. Get out on my tail. We got behind Earl now. <laughs> I'm gonna turn, or I'm gonna reload real quick. All of a sudden, I'm gonna turn around. He's turning around, actually. <laughs> Doing fives. Those yellow numbers, they're the uh, the critical hits that are landing on his head. So we're doing sevens now, that's not bad. I think... I think I can get to double digits, but I have to... I didn't take any drugs before this battle. I didn't use any chems, as the proper language goes in Fallout. Um, I didn't pop any chems before this battle, so... That's why I'm not doing like tens or fourteens. We're doing about half the damage now. Oh well. Alright, we're at 37 cores out of 42. The guy in front of me right here, that, he's using a sick weapon. I think that's an explosive uh, mini gauss something or other. Really cool weapon. Earl is but a mere shadow back there. Five, 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 three, three, four, five. Woo! <clears throat> That's the number of the beast. <laughs> That's the devil's number. Don't call that number. Be cursed. Woo! I went in. I went in just to show everyone that I drank my liquor. Let me be. 
Alright, oh, it looks like my uh, gun is breaking too, so I better fix that. Hurry! Alright, healing up. I'm gonna go ahead and check my weapon here. Let's repair it. Looks good, we're good to go. We've got, oh god, we got a little fan club back here. Get rid of them. 800 experience to get rid of that little cluster. Not bad. Another 200 experience right there. Another 200. A couple more if I help this dude out. I think... I think I'm helping. <laughs> I think I'm helping none of them die though, damn it. We're just kind of shooting them in that direction. There we go. There's one just dead. Oh, sorry. Oh god, I almost kicked the mouse off of the computer. I mean, off of the bed. No, it changed to other stuff. I'm <laughs> sorry, you guys. I lost chat. I lost chat for a bit. Now I'll never know who was talking to Matt. Darn it. Now I wanted to know. I was just joking. Alright, reloading again. I'm gonna go ahead and heal up a little bit. Oh, got a friend right there. Whoa, somebody blew them up. Nice weapon. Excuse me. Pick up a little bit. All right, Earl is almost down. We'll just let's end him. End him, just full force on him. There you go, he's dead. He's deceased. Grab what you can, everyone. Grab what you can. Woo, thumbs up. Did it escape these game. That's a victory! Cool! Hey, what's up T100? How are you doing? Victory or Sovngarde? And we're not dead yet, so no Sovngarde! Woo! <laughs> Mike's like, I heard something about the devil! Oh, damage with the bullet! Oh, 553335! Oh, what's up, Natasha? How are you doing? Oh, did I miss some stuff in chat? <gasps> gun ore? What is gun ore? Oh, is that for like legendary crafting? No, sadly, I don't think I have any gun ore. And sorry that I missed that question up there. That's an interesting question. It's the first time I've heard about gun ore. I've heard of the legendary modules, but... Now I'm thinking we might need an extra component. Ooh. Okay, so what I'm doing now is quickly I'm trying to... I got 40 seconds. Um, during this event, I know I mentioned it earlier, but you actually don't have to. I know it says escape the mine. Uh, you don't have to for this one. I've tried it many times and I've not died yet. Uh, you can just wait it out or whatever, pick up items and stuff. But on the other event, which I forgot exactly what it was called, but it's the one where you go into that mine and have to like uh, protect the protectrons while also collecting ore and stuff. Uh, if you don't get out of that one, you will die and lose all of the items that you had in your junk. So that's why before before I knew it was okay to stay here, I would peace out of this cave. I would run. <laughs> I never picked up any screws or anything until I heard that, oh, you can actually stay. And I saw people were staying and stuff, so I was like, oh, alright, I'll try it. And yeah, sure enough, um, it'll just fast travel you out like it does right here. Cool. Oh, nice! Explosive nocturnal plus one perception assault rifle. Not too bad. And that was my own nuke escapees. Yay, that was our nuke. We, uh, we had to test out the glitch in the silo, and luckily they haven't uh, patched it out yet, so go through the silos pretty easily. Which I'm pretty happy about. Yay! Doing good? That's good to hear. Oh nice! Well thank you for coming in. Good to see you. Yeah, just chilling. Uh, I actually haven't been streaming to um, like, well, consistently. I haven't been streamed consistently at all. Um, or too frequently, either. 
There we go. Just had some stuff go on during the summer. Nothing too, too horrible, thankfully. Uh, just had some medical issues going on. Hopefully, finally starting to get some answers, or at least get the ball rolling on that. And the other thing is, we've been going through a heat wave over here in Washington, so, oh man, during those, like, 116 degree Fahrenheit days, uh, which is, like, like, high 40s Celsius, I'm not sure exactly what the Celsius number was again. But, dude, during those days, oh man, just sitting here, I was, like, really, really sweaty. <laughs> Well, not super sweaty, but you could definitely tell that I didn't want to be, you know, wearing makeup and stuff, and getting all gross. Oh, that was one of the reasons I was like, oh, I'm gonna postpone stream this week, escapees. It's too hot. Ended up going swimming, though, at the public pool, so that was pretty cool. Oh, no, live wires! Oops. Well, that ruined my encumbrance. Fire stage. It's the time for me to head out and make some dinner. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Have a have a great rest of your night. Have some good dinner. I'm actually gonna peace out pretty soon to myself, you guys. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten yet. I was talking about my mom making tacos earlier. Oh, sounds so good. Well, thank you for being here, you guys. Much love. We did. We got quite a few things done today couple events we figured out that you can still go through the silos the regular way or you know the way I was going here take 50 silver gems everyone. but okay right now I'm gonna go head over I'm hobbling over to the sunny top station over here and let's see if I can't kind of unencumber myself a little bit or at least try to unencumber myself That's our nuke, you guys. That's our nuke. What is that glitch up there? You see that? Or is that on my TV? No, that's definitely there. What is that? You guys see that little marking? Weird. I don't know. <laughs> don't tell me an enemy like died way up there. I don't know, it's strange. Yeah, UFO. I tried to learn that song one time. I don't know, I probably didn't succeed. I know it has a second part to it too. <clears throat> beep, 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 beep. <laughs> bom, 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 bom. It's a UFO escapees, oh no. <clears throat> oh, thank you. Oh, what's up, Crumb? Dude, long time no see, playing on Crumb. Thank you so much for the new sub hype. Resub Love channel or Resbu as I'm trying to spell it. Resbu. How are you doing, Crumb? Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day, you guys. I'm doing pretty good overall. It's been a good day today. Um, I did forget to call my local car dealer because I do need an oil change for my car. Um, so I goofed on that. I might, oh, it's already past five. No, I was gonna say I might do it, you know, after stream, but I don't think be time for that. All right, let's get rid of that. Um, okay, so I'll let I'll let the news go. Escape these. I'll let it open. I just oh, I didn't want to say too much about it because I'm not sure. I'm not 100% certain on if I'm going to do this event or not, um, or if I'm going to go through with this because I tend to be more of a homebody. I'm kind of more of a nervous person too. Uh, and yeah, honestly, I don't go out very often. There we go. But our friends here on Twitch, Dead Animal Assembly Plant, are having a concert uh, in Portland, Oregon on July 30th or 31st. I think it might be the 31st. I'm not sure. I'll have to double check on that. Anyways, they're having a concert at the end of the month, and I actually really, really want to go. But uh, my car has been telling me, oh, you need oil change. <laughs> even the light has even come on. <laughs> and it's just been a few miles past the, the little window. 
um, suggestion box thing that you know it says oh you should get your oil changed when you hit this mileage so i'm just a few miles past that but even my own car engine light not engine light but the specific uh oil change light has come on you know so i'm like oh god i need an oil change before i drive to portland if i you know plan on going over there but yeah i do kind of want to see a uh, dead animal assembly plant either at their portland show or i know they're having one in seattle uh, which i could do as well but yeah, I'm thinking about going and uh, seeing them live. Woo! That'd be cool. Uh, if you guys know the Stranger Danger show, that is Eric and Zach from the Dead Animal Assembly Plant Band. All right, there we are. But yeah, that's why I'm like, damn it, I forgot to call to see if I could get a uh, an oil change appointment scheduled. All right, let me just make sure I'm not getting rid of stuff that I want. Do I have stuff to sell to you, vendor bot? I don't remember. But I'm gonna try to sell stuff anyways. Yeah, it'll no, be fun, hopefully. It's relaxing, that's cool too, Krem. But yeah, every now and then you'll see either Eric or Zach in the chat. Um, they are from that awesome band, and I think it'd be cool to go and see them live. Live would be awesome do their show, do their thing. Oh, I have some glowing blood. Yeah, we can get rid of that for sure. Excellent. Get your rating supplies here or don't. Okay. I don't oh, care. What else could I sell? I think I have a couple of street jackets that I've been meaning to get rid of. <laughs> street jackets are like one of the most expensive uh, clothing items to sell back to a vendor. Usually they only want to give you two or three caps, but for the street jacket, he'll give you 47. Or more if you have the kill. other perks for charisma and stuff. Right. Cool. I have a traveling leather coat. I thought, isn't this kind of rare? Reminder, any attempted five or not, maybe not rare, but I think people want that, made. don't they? with fingers. They want some kind of leather coat. The one with the long stuff in the back. <laughs> the long stuff in the back. Full. Long hunter's coat or something like that. Let me see this, though. You see, I have so many clothing items that I've collected. I'm not sure if this is the one that people like. It looks kind of crappy. <laughs> Not to be rude or anything. I'll wear it around. If I get some thumbs up, I'll know it's the right coat. <laughs> I steps forward from the back of the group. Hey, Lusty, what's up? You ready for your thrashing? Whoopsh, no. Well, you stopped up. I don't know why. <laughs> what you doing, Lusty? Don't get noticed in chat, so we'll turn her wrath on you. No, I'm just joking. Only if chat has angered me on that day. I'll admit, sorry guys, I did get a little salty yesterday um, towards the industry. Not salty, but it was like, I got bored. Um, I had been asking chat a few questions and you know, just not getting any answers and stuff. But I, you know, after stream, I thought about it. I was like, hey, no pressure you guys. Nobody ever needs to feel the need to come out a lurk or anything. Cause I do it too. I'm a huge lurker in uh, quite a few streams stuff all right let's see here well i dropped this nuke went through the silo i'm not sure what else to do <laughs> long at the back oh i get it long at the back <laughs> it was a bad man joke that's hilarious lusty that was a good one yes the coat it looks like it has duct tape on the back too and long on the back. I'm like, this can't be the one. This looks awful. This coat can't be rare. It looks terrible. All right, well, I was checking around. It doesn't seem like any of our... Well, you know what? Let's go see what the one weapon this guy has for sale is. Could be good. I mean, you know, I've gone to the camps before that only have a couple of, you know, two-star weapons for sale, and they've surprised me. 
I did find my one of my favorite lever action rifles at a camp that was selling. Um, let me try to fast travel again. Might be, might put me up there. A uh, camp that was selling only two weapons. One of them was a two-shot explosive lever action rifle. Only two stars, just the two-shot and the explosive. But that was actually a pretty sought-after weapon uh, for quite a bit. So I was like, yeah, and it was cheap too, below a thousand caps. So I was like, hell yeah. I bought it right away. All right, this person had a junky assault, savage assaultron head. Eh. If you're a junkie character, you might want that. If not, bypass it. All right, any other teammates that I have? Teammates, teammates. Looking for their camps. Teammate camps, teammate camps. Teammate camps, none? None, I don't think. All right. How's it? Oh, well, I only... Okay, somebody must have left the team. Before we had four members, now it's only three. One of them's me. All right. Well, we have a high-level character over at our camp. I think I will call it uh, for today's scapees. I might be back a little bit later, but I am getting kind of hungry. I'm going to go see what mom cooked up. She made some tacos or something, so I'm curious. There's also some leftover Chinese food that we might be able to eat. Yay! Uh, thank you, Webbed, for being here. Hope it doesn't freak you out, but I'm going to leave. Well, when I leave the world, my whole thing will disappear, my camp and stuff. So I hope he's not like, oh shit, where'd everything go? <laughs> Anyways, thank you for being here, you guys. Thank you, Lusty. Thank you, Crum, uh, Hadoukens. We had S Stage, just met S Stage today. They gifted 10 subs. That was amazing. That was out of nowhere. That was crazy. Thank you for all the subs. Um, Lusty, thank you for the Prime. Hadoukens, thank you for the resub. I remember uh, one more person also had a resub too. Oh, Nimi had the resub as well. And Rick with the sub too. Oh, I think Rick was one of the gifted subs, huh? Well, thank you for being here, you guys. Mike, it was good to see you. If you're still in chat, I will catch you um, either a little bit later or maybe tomorrow. So I'm going to try to be streaming around kind of this time. I might also uh, come back at nighttime, but my hair will be crazy because I've changed my shower taking times and my workout times to later in the night. So yeah, I don't work out in the mornings anymore. It's too hot. So now I work out when the sun goes down and then I take a shower right after. So if I come back on with like wavy hair and stuff, that's just how my hair is naturally. Nothing I can do about it. I mean, I could straighten it again, but it will take a long time. <laughs> Have a good night, Escape Peace. Thank you so much for being here. And as always, ever onward, ever forward. Catch you on the next little stream. Don't forget to follow us on our social media. The links are in the chat uh, if you want to and if you haven't already. If you have already, thank you so much, you guys. Peace. Have a good Wednesday.